Okay then, we have the basic two visuals created, one for the login and another for the registration screen for the structure of our application. So we'll see the user authentication on this video. So we already integrated Firebase in our application as you see in our third video, there we installed Firebase packages that is Firebase authentication, the Firebase and the Cloud Fire Store and created the basic structure. Now we are ready to work with the Fire, Firebase authentication. Before we code, first thing we need to go to the Firebase console. First, uh, so before we code, first thing we need to enable the user authentication of Firebase console. So we'll see how we cannot do this. So go to your, open your Firebase console, go to your Firebase console and go to your project. And on the right left side, you can see the authentication over here. Tap the authentication. So once you go inside the authentication, right now you have not created any authentication over here. So that's how you can see there's an empty users over here. To enable the set, uh, sign in method, you have to click this setup sign in method. So when you click this setup sign in method, it will it will show you the list of sign in providers. Either you can do it with Google, uh, either you can do it with Google, phone, GitHub, Twitter, Facebook, all the other social login sites, and also an anonymous sign in. So in this video, we are not discussing about the anonymous sign in because anonymous sign in is just an easy thing. There we are not passing anything. Instead, we can simply tap on the sign in button and any can anyone can do that. But our intention is not that one. Uh, we are creating an email and password. Means we are providing some yeah authentic for authentication we are providing some email and password so the first thing uh, so that's the reason we are using the email and password authentication over here to do this we have to enable the email and password that's we're gonna use so click on this and enable it and save it so now let's go back to your code so as you see in our previous video we already created a authentication service here and a, data, a database manager over here therefore the database manager we will talk later when first we are talking about the authentication service in this authentication service you already created authentication services class over here so this class will handle all those authentication so this class will handle all those authentication cases so we have a different authentications like sign in uh, creating a user sign out so all this we are going to handle in this authentication services class so here we are going to create a registration with email and password next sign in with email and password and finally sign out so we already created firebase authentication this is an instance of this so we'll see how we can create uh, using this instance this is a, this auth is an instance of this firebase authentication so before that uh, let me go to my registration screen the first thing from this authentication service i want to create a, a registration with an email and a password so before that let let us let's go to our registration screen and we'll check whether uh, validation is done successfully properly or not so whether we, uh, let's go to our, uh, we'll see whether the validation is working properly or not so if you see that this is a straightforward i have not created any user interface in this code i just simply copy and paste it you can also get that code from the link given uh, in the description so i just want to give you a small explanation if you want to know how this form is created uh, so you can better go to my playlist which is a flooded tutorial for bigness there I explain how to create a form using a text uh, and uh, how to handle all this validation and everything you can better go to the tutorial and you can watch uh, here I this is a pretty straightforward and I created everything and I'll just give you some overview of this form so we have created a form here and inside the form we have created one text which is a register and uh, we have set one pad we have set some padding and inside that we have created three text form fields which is a text form field which is name and an email and also as well as password so after this we have created a validation for the validation we need to pass a global key so i have passed a global key over here so once we have passed and we'll check and we'll check the condition over here So this is the condition we have checking only one condition if the data is empty so it will show this message example if i won't write anything over here and i click on the sign up button it is saying like name cannot be empty email cannot be so this is only a single validation i have done this so to make user should enter some data inside the text form fields that's the reason we have created i have created only one validation here so after validation we will start creating a registration with email and password so let's go to our authentication screen let's create a function i'm gonna call it as a create user for that I'll use a future future create 
create new user so create new user so this create new uh, user is gonna take uh, two arguments one is uh, email which is a string and the other one is also password which is a string and both are string and this is an asynchronous so let's try some uh, let's let's uh, next try and we'll catch something over here So inside uh, inside the train, inside train, first of all, we'll make a request to the Firebase. Remember, we have created instance for the Firebase authentication. So we'll use that and we'll create a user over here. So to create the user, go to your try, try block, and auth result, and I'll just name it as a result. It's equals to await the instance of uh, base authentication or the dot we have something called create user with email and password so we need to pass email as well as password next next we need to uh, just want to create some firebase user so this is the one which I want to return back. User dot user. So I will simply return the user. So if if, the, if, if anything wrong happened on this uh, block, so the catch will return back, and everything is fine. Those are just will return back. So go back to your registration screen over here. So inside the registration screen, so you are handling this text form fields using a controllers which is a name controller email controller and as well as a password controller so go to your text form field and in this text form field go and create a go and call this function so to call this functions i want to create one uh, create user function over here which is a dynamic one so i'll create a create user So I want okay. Let's go to the create user and create a method over here. So this is a method we have created, which is a create user, and this is an asynchronous one. So we'll go inside dynamic result equals to await. So we have created an instance over here. If you see, right, this is an instance that we have created, which is an authentication service. This is an authentication service we have created. So I have created an auth is an instance for authentication service. So I just want to call the created function, which is a create viewer, and I have to supply the email and password. So I will get the email and password from my controller, which is email controller, and as well as a password controller. Let's go here and write here email controller dot text and as well as password controller dot text okay we are done this and we'll see on the callback we'll see if the result is null so we'll see print will not email is not valid else To string. Okay, this is how we have created. So if you see, uh, let's go back to our Firebase. See under user profiles, right now we don't have any user. If you tap on here, so right now you don't have any user. Now go here. So and we have created the user over here. So let's create a fresh user. Okay, close it. So let's create a fresh user over here, and I'll name. Uh, I'll write the name as Money Hunter, and I'll write money at gmail.com. 
so and I uh, given some password as soon as I tap on the sign up I, I'll open the console also as soon as I type on the so as soon as I click sign up button so if everything is fine so you can see a user will be created over here so let me show you so do remember money counter is a name email and as password so when I click sign up you see it has returned with the firebase user instance of platform means it's created so go back so means here we are not showing any messages here and we are not doing any clear and everything right so just right now we are printing only in the console so go back and click reload you can see it's successfully created and every user is created with one unique user id this is a user id it's a unique user data multiple so only basing on this unique ID will differentiate the different will differentiate the users. So this is how we have created the user and the user successfully created over here. Next thing is whenever we are creating a user, so what we need to do? So in this, just clear the data. So here, we can simply clear the data. Name controller dot text. Sorry, name controller dot clear password controller dot clear and finally controller dot clear so we have cleared everything and what we need to do is we need to pop we need to pop back navigator dot pop so as soon as the user created so if, again, if we try to create the same user, it will not allow us so that you can check so here. So I'm trying with the same thing. You can see it is saying like the email address is already in use for another account. So email is not valid. So this is error message, this is a proper error message. So what we need to do in this case, let me refresh this. Yeah, I have restarted it. Uh, it, I have tapped on the registered button. I'll create with uh, another other one more user. So what is the user? It's, it's money, right? So I'll use some name which is Mohan. Mohan gmail.com and some password. So as soon as I tap on the sign up button, so what happens? So it, it will register a new user and it will clear the data and it will dismiss this. And dismiss and it will and it will send back to a login page see as soon as i tap on the sign button so immediately after creating the user what happened it has pushed back now if you come back to your console and you click on add uh, click refresh you can see there are two users we have created so each user identified with a unique user id so in the next video we will see how can we create a sign in page and how can we create an authentication sign in page and we'll see how we can navigate to a different screens